It's been 20 days since toddler ruthless Empire Ahipeni Wall was killed in Lower Hutt and police are yet to make any arrests. Instead, they're appealing for information about a car used to take Baby Roo to hospital, saying items of interest in it were deliberately removed and disposed of. Leighton Hakel reports. A bubbly little boy brutally killed and almost three weeks on, still no answers as to who's responsible. This poor child suffered a violent death. Ruthless Empire, affectionately known as Baby Roo, died from blunt force trauma and today police revealed further grim details. All injuries were to his head. Uh, they were severe and they caused his death. It could have been by a weapon or it could have been through um, a physical force such as slamming a head on a, a hard floor or a table. These are the three people of interest, Dylan Ross, his partner Rosie Murunga and Rue's mother Storm Angel Wall. Murunga appeared in court this week on charges unrelated to this case. All three were living at the tighter home when Rue was fatally injured and police are speaking with them with varying degrees of cooperation. I can't say as to why or what their motives are for not giving us the full story or the uh, complete truth. But we know they have that information and I urge them to come forward and talk to us. They're also appealing for information about the movements of this Nissan Sentra. On the morning of October 22nd, it was driven from the Taita House to Hutt Hospital with Baby Roo and the three people of interest. This vehicle has returned to the address and a person or persons has removed property directly relevant to the homicide investigation. We just, at this time, want the people the three people that were in the fuddy to tell the truth and be honest. Bruce Fano telling Fakata Māori they had previously emailed Oranga Tamariki requesting he be uplifted, an organisation recently reviewed by former police commissioner Mike Bush. Are you comfortable with the way that that organisation has handled the baby Roo case? Uh, that's a question you should put to the chief executive. So we asked for an interview with CEO Chappi Takani. A spokesperson declined, saying in a statement that Oranga Tamariki is continuing to support police with their investigation. Once we get an arrest, I think we'll still continue to have those thousands of tears flowing. Thousands of tears for their baby Roo, who was killed just days before he turned two. Leighton Haeckel, News Hub.